Hey, good morning. Welcome back to 1 Samuel chapter 23, verses 19 to 23 today as we continue. Let's read it out. Then the Ziphites came up to Saul at Gibeah, saying, Is David not hiding with us in strongholds in the woods in the hill of Hachilah, which is on the south of Jeshimon? Now therefore, O king, come down according to all the desire of your soul to come down, and our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hand. And Saul said, Blessed are you of the Lord, for you have compassion on me. Please go and find out for sure and see the place where his hideout is and who has seen him there, for I am told he is very crafty. See therefore and take knowledge of all the lurking places where he hides and come back to me with certainty and I will go with you. And it shall be, if he is in the land, that I will search for him throughout all the clans of Judah. So the word's out, the word is out. They know that King Saul is tracking David. He's trying to get to David. And here comes some enterprising Ziphites. And they say, hey, he's over here. Come over here. And notice Saul's reaction. Oh, look, uh, God is, you be blessed of the Lord for you're having compassion on me. Ah, well, what about compassion on David, who's going to have been driven out unjustly? But I guess we've been talking about that. But here we have a, a fact here that is always there. There's always people who are ready to make, uh, there's always people that are ready to uh, curry favor and to get on the good side of, ru of the rulers. Hey, you know, we want to be on the good side of the king, the leader, whoever it is. And so they come and they tell him, David's here. Uh, we're, we can help you get him. And the plan is, okay. Bring back, bring back some good, solid information for me, and we'll come, and I'll come and get him. So there you have this, uh, this triangulation of people. They are trying to get on the side of the king, and the king, it's well known. The king's against David. And so the Ziphites, how many Ziphites are there? Are there maybe that just doesn't happen anymore. Or maybe there's people who always triangulate on power, and they're looking to curry favor but the real question is always, what is the right thing to do? Not necessarily what is the legal thing to do or uh, what is the law the, say to do, but what's the moral thing? What's the ethical thing? What's the, if we have a Bible worldview, what's the right thing to do? You know, back in the time of Germany, when Hitler was the leader, there was a word about, you know, how do you decide something? And they actually said, try to, just try to think, how would the Fuhrer solve this? Which is very interesting because we as Christians today, what, what do we say? Well, we have a little saying, what would Jesus do? So there you have really the two options. What would the Fuhrer do or what would Jesus do? What would the human leader do or what would God do? So our solution for deciding what to do at any given point based on our worldview, not the worldview that's just dropped on us like little baby birds that are supposed to eat the wormy worldview, what should we do? The Bible should be the basis. We try to derive the right lessons. We try to derive the right principles from Scripture and then frame our actions based on that. So the Ziphites are kind of finding out what King Saul wants. You and I need to do, we need to come up a few notches from that. We need to try to find out what God wants. Take it from there. So there's a plan. There's a plan for us, as we've already seen just the other day. God is on David's side. God is actually sending him a prophet. God is actually guiding and counseling David. So this that we're looking at this morning, this is human triangulation. Interesting stuff. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, uh, we want to be guided by your principles. We want to be making our decisions based on your plan for us and for our life. So help us to come up higher, Lord. Help us to be marching to Zion, coming up higher onto the ground of faith and knowing what, what the truth is because the Bible shows us and making our, our decisions based on right principles from Scripture. We're not going to just fall into that accidentally, Lord, but we're going to have to read your word and pray and live a life of prayer and faith. So help us to do that very thing so that we may glorify you. This is our prayer today in Jesus' name. Amen. And that is our prayer today. Have a wonderful one.